Welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers, using whole foods to create a healthier you. Today's video is about week seven and eight of the four phase fat elimination protocol. Hey everyone, welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers and what would be week seven and eight of the four phase elimination protocol for some of you. I'm actually a bit late posting this. Um, week seven and eight were actually quite rough for me and laid me basically out on my back, not what I was expecting. The last uh, follow-up I did, I was on my way to the gym, which I did, was very excited about, did it very gently. But I had a major flare-up and sciatic pain down my right side. So, look, um, I'm just going to have to reevaluate my gym workout, whether I'd start doing some Pilates or something instead. As I said earlier in the protocol, Mine is also a bit mechanical because I have got the rods and the screws in my back and that just causes me other pain sometimes. It's not all food related. So it's just something I'm, I am going to have to reassess. My testing of foods has not been too bad. I have had a few flare-ups. One major thing last week that affected my back in a way that I was really surprised at was I tested onions again and I just had such a major flare up. It was actually really surprising to me. So my back went into spasm as if I had pulled something, um, I had to take medication for it which was disappointing but I just could not believe how intense and how much pain it caused me. So it's just really interesting, isn't it, as we're going through this journey and finding different foods that have such a major effect on us. So going all through this challenge, I can't have cauliflower, I can't have onions or tomatoes. It does limit me a bit, but what I've discovered is the things that do flare me up. I have a choice now of whether I do have a meal with some of these things in it or I don't. Um, at home I'll eat very cleanly and it's not to say when we go out at different times I might not have something that may have onions or one of these things in but then I have the choice and I know what sort of flare up that I'm going to have. So another thing that I noticed a slight weight increase was chia seeds. And honestly, I haven't really done anything else this week. I've finished my testing now. I was good with coconut cream. I'm great with ghee and cacao butter and salmon. There's so many things that I can have. But for all of you out there that are finishing this round for the first time, this is where it makes all the difference. We're in this phase four forever stage and this is where you've just got to decide this is a way of life it's not a quick fix it's not about dropping weight for me personally it was about pain the weight was a bonus even though that was fantastic but the knowing now that these different foods cause me pain is just life-changing i actually had some rice the other day as well which caused me a flare-up and it just makes you, when you've been eating this way for so long and you, you know, move on and you finish testing, it makes you very aware of the reactions of your body. So I'm just going to tell you all, listen to your body, be strong, keep up doing this. I know some of you may have already signed up to do the June round. I won't be doing that next round, but I will certainly be putting phase two and other compliant recipes up on the YouTube channel. So don't forget to check them out. I wish you all all the best. I hope you've got great results from this protocol. It is, and look, it is a fantastic protocol. I can say I've learned so much and I continue to learn what suits my body and what's going to give me the best results. Remember that we're all individual. What works for one of us may not work for, for the next person or your friend or your mum or your auntie. Just get in tune with your body and find out what works for you. I wish you all very well on the protocol. I hope you have great results. There's been some fantastic 
um, group messages on Facebook and those coaches that uh, help people through things are magnificent. So make sure you make the most of that and I'll see you next time on Joe's Kitchen Capers. Bye.